Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of How to Enjoy Wine with me, Dusty Limits, that's my name, hurrah! Now there's only 1,237 episodes to go, so carpe diem and indeed carpe vino and indeed possibly carpal tunnel, I don't know. Um, you may have noticed something different this week viewers, which is that my orientation has changed. That's right, I've gone from portrait to landscape. Thank you to all of you who wrote in to let me know. That would be a better format for the internet. Um, basically you asked me to go from vertical to horizontal and what better way to go from vertical to horizontal than with wine? It's always worked for me in the past. Um, okay so here's the thing. This week we're going to talk about the different kinds of wine and this can be very intimidating for people who don't feel they understand wine perfectly. It's actually surprisingly simple like most of our leaders. Um, there are three kinds of wine. One is red wine which is red. Okay. Another is white wine. It's pronounced white wine, uh, which is various shades of yellow slash straw slash grass slash anything but, well, white because that would be milk. And the other kind of wine is rosé, which is what you get when you mix red wine and white wine together. And now you know. And now here's this week's top tip. You can freeze wine in ice cube trays to use later. For example, you could, um, I don't know, on a hot summer's day, you could add a few cubes of wine to your wine just to wine it up a little. Okay, and here's some I made earlier. at this I do realize it looks a little bit like my own frozen urine and I'm not sure that it isn't but hell what's life without adventure hey so there we go pop that in there ah oh, so refreshing mmm Glastonbury And now we return to the tricky world of wine terminology. And this week, the word I want to introduce you to is one that's very important in understanding wine. It's the word terroir. Say it with me. Terroir. One more time. Terroir. Yeah, literally no idea what that means. But what I do have is a terrier. Okay, this is George. Say hello to George, everybody. Hello, George. George, say hello to the people at home. So George and I hope you'll continue to enjoy wine responsibly, enthusiastically, ecclesiastically, or even eucharistically, because otherwise, what's the point of being a Catholic? Um, but until then, goodbye from us, see you for episode four, and most importantly, wash your hands.